to the chance for Big Boss Crypto, bring on a day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on Chainlink. Today is the last day trading update for this year. And what a year it has been, man. Wow, crazy ride. But I'm going to give you all the information you need for this monthly close and the yearly close. Let's look at the charts. So Bitcoin has been crawling slowly to the downside as you can see during the past couple of days and we've been in our range between 16200 up to 17k approximately. However, as I told you in my last video, I do see that we get a quick pump to the upside and it might come during the news which will come out in 20 minutes. And it's the PMI numbers from the US. No, it's the unemployment claims from the US, sorry. Which will come out in 20 minutes. And uh, I think it's going to be out when this video is uploaded. But if we look at Bitcoin, we can see that we have volume counts to the upside and to downside. Closest one to downside is at 16.5k. And to the upside, it's at 16.7k. And I think we might be forming a W bottom as I showed you in my last video. And I think we might retrace to the upside and liquidate some people which are late to their shorts. And I think if you aren't in long already, I am at least. Uh, I think it's a good time to be long at the moment and close it by the end of the year. And the reason is the information from the liquidation map. This shows you how many people are going to get liquidated if price moves uh, to these price points uh, on this chart. And as you can see, it's clearly more money to the upside to be grabbed by the market maker than it is to the downside. As you can see, it's a big cluster of money here at 17.5k. And I think it's a great area to close your lungs if you want to ride up out this far. To the downside, we don't see much money. Much of it has been grabbed during the last couple of days at the lower 16k area. If we zoom out a bit, we can see that there's still more money nearby to the upside than it is to the downside. So that gives us a high probability that price might move to the upside during the last couple of days going into the new year. So with that being said, none of this is financial advice. It's all for entertainment and educational purposes only. So please consider this information. Everybody's bearish and everybody is usually wrong when it comes to trading. So keep this in mind when trading. Moving on to Chainlink then, I have to start this video with pointing out that we reached the last line of defense on the one hour chart for Chainlink, which was recovering this volume candle in this area, which I marked off for you in my last couple of videos, which was starting from here down to this zone to 5.6 dollars let's mark it off as well so this was the volume count which was unfilled and a couple of days and weeks go by i think it's days we went to this zone and recovered it look at this this morning we recovered it to the t and some and as you can see price reverted from this area all of the unfilled orders got filled in this area and the market maker moved price away from here. Great trade if you took it. I've been warning about this one kill for a while that this was the last line of defense and that we could see a bounce from here. And as it looks right now, we are seeing a bit of a bounce at least. And we are recovering the zones that we have marked off in the chart already. We have this volume candle here. It's been recovered already. As you can see, I'm pointing at this one. I hope you see it. And we have some more volume cans to the upside. And if Bitcoin longs are looking juicy, 
I think chain link longs are looking even more juicier. I think we could see a move to the upside, a quick move up as the news comes out and that the market reacts to it. We could end this year above $6. That is my opinion at least. And if you're considering any longs and aren't in any on Chainlink, I think this is a juicy opportunity for you to make some money until you receive and then spend it on some champagne or something or whatever you like or continue trading. I don't know, but I'm considering this and I'm considering taking some profits at the $6.3 zone. So please consider this. When trading, we do have a lot of volume cans to the upside on the one hour chart to the downside. This was the last line of defense. And if you look at the daily chart, we have some volume cans below at the $5 area. And I think we could move to the $4 area in Q1 next year. That's it for Chainlink. So Bitcoin crew, I'm going to end this day trading update with looking on the monthly chart for Bitcoin. And why is that? Well, Basically, that gives you an indication of where you might see a bottom and a reversal point. Let me explain this. I always use the monthly chart for accumulation when it comes to uh, Forex at least, but it works on crypto as well. So I use the volume candle strategy. And as you can see, we have some volume candles to the upside. And I think it's a good idea for you to mark them off. We have them at 40k here. And we have one here which is unfilled. Starting from 25k up to 32k. Those are unfilled. And as you can see, the volume counts always get recovered. We have uh, those one from uh, 2019. It got recovered. You see these green candles here. They got recovered in this monthly candle, as you can see. So what you need to know is that wherever you see a monthly candle, which is a volume candle with the PVSRA tool, you mark it off in the chart. However, if we take a look on the three month chart, you have to use that as well. It works on every time frame, And the good thing is that you can mark off zones here as well. And as you can see, we have an unfilled candle on the three month chart. And much of being a trader is going against the herd. Nobody is using the three month chart, so you have to use it. Uh, in order to make sense of where we might potentially go. And I think uh, this zone right here will get filled at some point because there's a lot of orders here. As you can see, it's a blue PVSR candle and price has moved here during the next couple of three month candles. However, I do think this will be the bottom starting from uh, 8.9k going down to 6k uh, and we need to recover at least half width or 70 70 percent 200% is the greatest one uh, but since it's a three month kennel I think recovering let's say 20% to 50% so from 8.5 to 7.5k is where we might potentially bottom out because this candle is unfilled and as you know blue and purple candles indicate some kind of a reversal sign and VIX also indicate somewhat of a reverse sign we have this one here on the three month chart and we also have it up here it was a sign of a top and it was a sign of a bottom as you can see big vix indicates a lot of orders being filled and when it's filled that means reversal is gonna happen because market maker has his orders filled here and he wants to see a return on his investment and that's where he reverses price so when you see this with volume in the pvsra tool usually a sign of a reversal 
and as you can see I think next year will bring us price action like this we might see some pumps to the upside fooling retail and then we might pop bottom out around 8k uh, during the second half of next year that is when you will see some consolidation here uh, we will move slowly and by the end of next year going into 2024 the start of the greatest bull run ever is about to happen starting from the next halving that is my last positive uh, message to you bitcoin will have its next bull run we have the volume candles up in this area as you know and bitcoin will recover the price of 45k most certainly and that will happen in the next bull run we will start around the next halving have yourselves a happy new year big boss out